chose in my career to be in touch with uh, three fantastic drivers, with many, but these are three super. In the 70s, Niki Lauda from Austria. He won two championships with us, and he has loosened the third for half point because he was born in an accident, and so he was, unfortunately, uh, he, uh, he lose a few races and few points. The second is Michael Schumacher from Germany. He won with us four championship titles, and he has entered in the, Ferrari, in the Ferrari history. And the third is Fernando Alonso. To be leaders in Formula One means not only to be a good driver, to push in the race. This is crucial. To be leader means be close to the team, work during the week and not only in the race weekend, be maniacale, maniaca, how we say in English, maniac, in the details, everything. Because in a competition in which you can win or lose for half tenth, not for half seconds, for half ten, you need to be absolutely concentrated in every single details. That is, again, is not only the details in terms of performance, because, of course, you have to look very carefully how you can improve the start, I can improve the handle of the car, I can improve the pit stop. It's, but to be a leader, because Formula One is really a team work. Team spirit is very important in every kind of job. I don't believe anymore in the one-man show. I don't believe it in the politic. I don't believe this in the business. I, need, I believe in a leader that can put together people. In my life, I tried all the time to have with me people far better than me. Better than me. And I always push my people. Don't be jealous. Don't hire middle-level people. If there is a young guy that is a huge potential, you have to be like a good trainer. Put him in the best condition to succeed, not be jealous. To succeed, team spirit is fundamental. Fernando is a driver that has two, is, for me, is at the moment, particularly in the race, the number one in the world. Because he's able, from the first lap until the last lap, to have the same time like a qualifying time. Fantastic. But, but, the two big strengths of Fernando is, is he's always positive. Even when he has a not competitive car, he pushes the teams, he's confident, he gives them support and gives you, give, you are the best, you, we will succeed. And the second, attention as a maniac of the details. When we have losing two years ago in a bloody race in uh, Abu Dhabi for half point, uh, I don't, if I think again, uh, I, I go away and say thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> The, race, the championship, after the race, I went to the pit and I see all my people crying like a child because to lose at the last race in that way. And Alonso, that lose, he was the first to lose, went to every single mechanic and said, thank you for what you, for what you did. We will succeed next year. Count on me. This is very important. It's the same thing that a leader in a company has to support, has to be demanding. If there is somebody that doesn't, uh, doesn't like to work, it's better to find another job. There is a very easy way. Give me a small letter in which you resign, and I'm happy if you don't like. But if you like, my goal, my uh, job, uh, my activity is to put you in the best condition to succeed. And Fernando is a fantastic driver, and I'm happy to have him in the team.